Hello, Sunjali. Let's do this simple, minimal Diwali makeup that's easy for everyone to do. We're going to start off with skincare, and I've said this time and time again. As a woman over the age of thirty, skincare is the most important thing, and I really like to concentrate on my under eyes as well. As you can tell, I look quite tired, so I'm going to use any under eye gel. You can use any product of your choice. One thing that has really helped with my under eye game. Are these reusable under eye patches by Kokoil? They're right now on an offer of nine ninety nine. You have tired eyes like me? Definitely go check these out. These work within ten to fifteen minutes, which is great because that's how much time it's gonna take for me to do this whole makeup look. And then I'm gonna be using Kokoil's Golden Hoba Oil as a moisturizer. It's really great. Has crazy amounts of ceramides in it, but you can use whichever moisturizer of your choice. Just make sure that you have well hydrated skin to begin with your makeup. I'm going to apply a concealer and I'm going to completely forego foundation because we really want to layer any product that we're using. It really helps with making your skin look as natural as it possibly can and not looking cakey. I've placed the concealer at the center of my face and I'm going to blend it out. It really gives great dimension and it doesn't really look like you have a thick layer of foundation or makeup on your face because there's a lot of dimension. I'm going to blend it out around my eyes as well. I'm going to focus a lot on my eyebrows. They shape your face really well. I really love to apply a bronzer on the periphery of my face because I feel like it gives in a lot of color, especially when you are doing your makeup in winter time. On a day like the you really want to have a lot of healthy glow so that's something that the bronzer will help you in then I'm using the super butter lip lacquer by Kiro it's a beautiful shade and I didn't even realize it it matches my kurta um, it is extremely hydrating it's a very nourishing formula I was actually quite surprised because I haven't really used something like this for a very long time this would be great for people who have really dry lips and something that's very glossy and hydrating at the same time absolutely love the color all of the details of this is going to be in the description box so just open it and check it out then i'm going to use the prism perfect highlighter by kiro again the prism perfect highlighter has two of these beautiful shades um there is a copper one and there's a gold one i'm going to use both of these shades around my eyes i'm not too sure if you can use these but i use them without any issue i'm first going to take the beautiful copper shade and i'm going to place it all over my eyelid i love how copper looks on indian skin tone and so i'm going to gently dab this onto my skin and not really swiping it then i'm going to place it in an upward angle very casually with the same brush it's only supposed to give an uplifted effect and not really a wing eye then i'm going to go ahead and use the golden color and place that on the inner corner of my eye I feel like this gives a very understated but glam look. It's not too much in your face. It's not too much work. But at the same time, it has a really beautiful glow to it. Then I'm going to use the Kiro's High Def Soothing Eyeliner. This was in a beautiful deep blue shade. This is a beautiful formula. Extremely creamy. It did not tug on my eyes at all. And I just apply it as I usually would an eyeliner. You could go ahead and use it with a wing eye with a cat eye you can also have a thick line of this and then blend it out with your finger but i felt that because the color was so beautiful i really wanted it to be a simple wing eye and i feel like the copper with the blue just makes so with gentle strokes i am almost done with this eyeliner super pigmented super beautiful i'm now going to remove my under eye patches and look at the amount of hydration that has come from underneath i'm just going to pat this down and this really helps because now when i'm going to apply concealer my concealer is not going to crease i will not feel like that i have under eyes that are dry and it's just going to give a better effect of my makeup as well as my skin so for the concealer i've already dotted it in this way i would highly suggest you try this as well really great for uplifting and not really making it look like you have a lot of concealer under your eyes and make sure that you dab all of it and not really swipe it around then just to warm up the concealer i'm using my fingers and dabbing it down then i'm taking the eyeliner yet again and applying it on half of the outer area of my under eyes then take the copper shade again and filling it in the halfway 
from my inner corner that is for the eyes i'm going to use the same highlighter and mix it and zhuzh it about and apply it around my cheeks this is a beautiful highlighter as well very pigmented and it gives like a very beautiful glisten to your skin how can we finish a makeup look without a mascara then i'm going to apply my bindi and we're almost done i really hope this video is helpful if you do end up doing this look definitely let me know in the comment section um this is very easy this is very quick i hope this has been helpful and that's about it bye